black coats are so bright when it burns, so dark when it's done. So hard to relate to one when I find myself tripping off that blunt. Tripping off this blunt, so I might be blunt if I do confront you. Don't run, no, don't run from the black hole sign. So it is finally 2024, so with that, I'm going to reveal my updated setup. I'm going to be starting with showing you guys my setup and then moving on to the rest of the room. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about in my setup is my Xbox. I got my Xbox more than like a year and a half ago, I think. For $300, this Xbox does a great job and it can get 120 FPS, but with my monitor, it can't. This monitor is made by Dell and it's only a 75 Hertz, so I should probably upgrade to like a 144 Hertz. Although it's only 75 Hertz, the color is very vibrant. I should probably upgrade that though. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is this clock right here. So I think it was only like 20 bucks or something, but honestly, it just adds like a nice aesthetic to my setup. So yeah, I actually really like it. And for the mouse pad, it's by Gutsy Aiden and it's like the Vermax one. Um, but I really like the colors on this. It's like blue, a darker blue, and yellow and white, and black actually, so a lot of colors. But um, yeah, it's like the Vermax one and Vermax is actually my favorite YouTuber. So yeah, I think it actually looks nice with my setup as well. So on this mouse pad, we have this Techware key keyboard. I think it's like a 75% or something, but I actually customized the color. So as you guys can see, it's purple, purple, purple. And then in between there's like some dark blue, but I actually really like it because it matches with that background. Also, this keyboard was only like $45, I think, but they sent it out to me. So thank you to them. So this mouse is the Razer Viper Ultimate. It was around like $60 when I bought it, which is really, really cheap for it. As you guys can tell, it's usually wireless, but it's just charging right now because I haven't charged it in, let's just say a while. So this fake plant over here adds like a nice like aesthetic to my setup. I really like uh, fake plants actually. I think I have like six of them in my room by now, but um, yeah. And then on the right of it, I have this phone stand that was sent out by Lamical and it's actually really good for only $8. So mounted on my desk, I actually have this white microphone, which looks really nice because most of them are like the black ones. But yeah, so it came as a set, these two things. So that one's like the Mano Gamer Wave, I think. And then that one, well, came with it. So like on the top left corner of my setup on the desk, we have this Chromebook. It's actually my school Chromebook, but like, it doesn't matter because my, my home one barely like runs YouTube anymore. So it's just really slow. So this one's like a little bit faster than it. So I don't really know much about this Chromebook. I know it's made by like Le Lenovo, I think that's how you say it. But yeah, it's sitting on a laptop sp stand by like that brand Lamical, just like the phone stand. But yeah, it looks like really nice on my desk and I have two screens now. So the desk is actually a standing desk by Odin Lake as you guys can see here. And this is how you control it. So you can go up and down. Oh, it just went down. Oh, and there's an ad on my screen. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I skipped the ad. Anyways, I was talking about the standing desk. So yeah, I can go really high up and really low down. But yeah, it's just kind of helpful when you're working for like a long time. Up here, I actually have this blue neon sign, which looks really nice on my setup. The only thing, I think I might've mounted it too high, but you know, it's fine. You can still see it. So this very comfortable chair I use is by Andesi, as you guys can see. And in the back, it actually has the name of the chair. So it's the Andesi Caser like three, I think it is. It's uh, pretty expensive, let's just say that. I think the price should be on screen. The color I went with was this black and then it's like kind of like a cloth material. So then in the summer when I sweat, it like it's not like leather and it's easier to stay cool in. So also below my chair, I actually have this plastic floor mat which enables my chair to like move back and forth way smoother. So yeah, going on to the next dresser. Wait, I actually have a trash can down there, but like, it's just a trash can. But up here we got a basketball, two trophies, and then like some sports pictures on there. But yeah, and then we got that little Converse shoe right there. It's like a keychain, but nothing really special on that shelf. And oh wait, down there, I actually got an Oculus for Christmas. It's me and my brothers from my parents. So yeah, we actually haven't opened it out of the box yet, but it's just kind of sitting in my room. So this might be one of my favorite parts of my room now. So I just upgraded this whole shelf. shelf for Christmas. I got a bunch of stuff for it. So the first thing is this digital like wall clock right here. It's like an LED one, but I've seen these so many in like so many YouTuber setups and I just wanted to get my own. And then down here, we got like the RK67 or not 67, 61. And then this fake plane over here. And I got like a couple of these stands. You'll see them throughout the room. But yeah, I really like fake plants, as I said before. And then going down a shelf, we got this another Techware keyboard and another keyboard. 
Um, so it's like the Techware Phantom Plus Elite. Yeah, it's some long name. And then going down one more shelf, we got these four cars here. So we got like a Porsche, uh, what is that? A Supra? Um, that's a Ferrari and that's a McLaren. So yeah, like wide variety of colors and cars. And they're by Lego, obviously. So then on the last shelf on the bottom, we have another fake plant that's kind of similar to the top one. But yeah, then we have my headset right here. It just kind of looks nice there. And then my AirPods box. Yeah, so I actually really like this part of my room now. It like looks just really nice. So here's like a full view of it, as you guys can see. Oh, I forgot to mention, the light inside is made by these like puck lights. As you guys can see, they're on all of them. They were actually really cheap on Amazon, only for like $20. And I actually got them as a Christmas gift. Also, I have these Govi LED lights going around my whole um, room. So we got this Himalayan salt lamp over here. It kind of just lights up a little bit. Actually, you can turn it pretty bright, but like I didn't want it that bright. And then we got another car. I think it's like another Ferrari and then a fake plant controller on this like cheap phone stand. Like look how wobbly that is. So we got another fake plant. These three over here came as a set, so. And then over here, it's like a Nissan sports car Lego. Like I have a lot of sports car Legos. And then my tripod usually goes here, but obviously I'm using it for the video. And then we got that, I don't know if you guys can see it, but little picture over there. So down below for now, I just kind of got my Adidas sports bag for like basketball and stuff. And then I have my whiteboard over here. I, I like just got this one for Christmas too. So I kind of just wrote out my day as you guys can see. So I'm doing this one right now. Um, so yeah, then these are like another favorite part of my room too. So as you guys can see, we got these like LED lights, but they're like changing. It's like kind of like a, I don't know if it's like called a loop or like just a pattern, let's just say. So it's like a darker blue and like a cyan color and it's just going around my closet. So I like just added those yesterday. So over here, as you guys can see, we got my Bible, two like pictures, like some pencils in here, paper. This is usually where my iPad goes, but it's like on my bed for now. And this is something I got from Christmas. Um, so it's a YouTube content planner and there's the YouTube logo. So if you look inside, it has like notes and stuff and then content planning, my video title, description, content, like the schedule when I film it, edit and post it. As you guys can see, there's like a bunch of paper in here. So yeah, expect more content soon. So obviously I have my bed where I sleep. Um, I'm pretty sure that's pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, I got, I got a couple pillows over there and now we're wrapping around to my setup again. Also for my setup, I forgot to mention, I have this like LED light strip behind it by Made by Govi. That was the end of the video. Make sure to rate my setup and room one to 10 in the comments and I'll reply to your comments, I guess. But if you guys watched all the way to the end, you guys probably liked it. So go down there and like the video. Also make sure to subscribe, but anyways, peace.